The Jacksonville Jaguars are on the road in week six, taking on a fellow TD-challenged interdivisional foe, the Indianapolis Colts, riding a two-game win streak thanks to a huge game-ending defensive stop in week five. Wilson drops back to pass and it's incomplete and game is over, the Colts win. Hey, come on now, some editor guy thinks he has jokes. Slides, fires, broken up in the end zone. What's wrong with a great defensive game now and then? Based on how these two teams played on both sides of the ball in week five, it could happen again. Colts fans figure, if our secondary can strap Russell Wilson, zero TDs, two INTs, rating mid-50s, then we can play Mr. Hand and do the same to Spicoli. Wilson to the end zone, and it's intercepted by Gilmore. Trevor Lawrence doesn't just have to worry about Stephon Gilmore and company either. The indie pass rush he's up against is coming in with swagger. Week five was their best showing so far. Four sacks, eight QB hits. To the 16, he gets sacked to Forrest Buckner. The Jaguars didn't face that kind of pass rush personnel last week. Protection was not Lawrence's problem. 47 pass attempts, zero sacks, only got hit once. I can go deeper, get my shoulders square, turn, and then just rip it in there. Nice play. Lawrence threw for plenty of yards, too, over 280. But no touchdowns, two INTs, one was a Hail Mary. Yards per attempt, barely over six. Little bootleg, Lawrence throwing end zone, it's intercepted. Gotta get more from Zay Jones and Christian Kirk this week didn't get much return on all that coin they used on them versus the Texans. 11 targets between the two, only four receptions, 23 Ron Measley yards. You put all that behind the blards over the middle, batted down. Marvin Jones and Evan Ingram were T-Law's top two targets versus Houston. 21 throws to them combined, 175 yards. Play action from Lawrence. Rolls out, probes, here they come, complete. Big play, Marvin Jones. Play action from Lawrence, up the seam, what a catch! Ingram with a two-handed snatch. Lawrence's counterpart comes in just as icy. Matt Ryan last week, solid in the yards department as well. Also, two INTs. Also, no TDs. Also, same low yards per attempt figure. Exactly the same. Good protection this time, throws. It's picked off at the 15-yard line. One thing they hope to fix this week, reducing the heat Ryan is under. He did not enjoy the kind of pass pro Lawrence did in week five. Six sacks taken, pressure rate of fat 44%. Ryan sacked 45, and that probably takes him out of field goal range. Jags have two guys that can take advantage in theory. Josh Allen, Trayvon Walker both quiet in week five. In turn, Jacksonville's pass rush was two, only one sack. Here comes Jacksonville, Mills hoists it up, and was it caught? A fight for the football, Nico Collins. Ryan has two primary receivers he throws to most, Michael Pittman, the J, to Alec Pierce's silent bob. Pierce had the most targets in week five, finished with over 80 yards. We're starting to see him believe, he's finding a guy that he believes in, and that is Pierce, the rookie out of Cincinnati. Indy would have no problem turning things over to Jonathan Taylor. He was out last week with a bum ankle. Backstreet Boys weren't the same when JT left them, right? Handoffs eventually found their way to Deion Jackson. Had some good runs, 13 carries, 62 yards, almost five per. Second down and eight, good hole here. Jackson exploits it. If Taylor is back though, then we get a nice one-on-one. -on -one. JT versus Jacksonville's Devin Lloyd. 14 tackles in week four, 11 more in week five, and nine of them were stops. A stop is considered a successful tackle by the defense. Did you just fansplay me? Devin Lloyd, number 33, came in there, and he has played really well for this Jacksonville team. Two offenses that didn't score a single TD last week, so you know what these predictions are going to look like, right? You'll get someone who goes 3-0 or 6-3 or whatever, and someone else will go 34-33, 55-50. Sure, someone will do the same in the comments section. Make your picks, your jokes, all the rest there. Let's see what our 10 has to say about it.